uh, you are more than invited to participate. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, thank you so much for the introduction and thanks especially to uh, Xavier Matias from Dominion City Council for inviting us to participate in these training sessions and congratulations on the amazing program you're running. It is so refreshing to, to find programs like this, uh, sharing best practices in the development of skills and values through music for our young people. And we only hope we have more time to take part in all the, the interesting work sessions you have programmed this week. And we are sure that, that there will be a lot of opportunities for working together with the different partners in the program uh, as we all focus on the, on the same goals. And we will be more than happy to explore those opportunities with all of you in the near future. And uh, let me begin introducing Fundación Paideia Galiza. Fundación Paideia Galiza is a private foundation with its head offices in, in A Coruña, in the north of Galicia, uh, that was founded in 1986. Its main goal in the beginning was to provide employment opportunities for handicapped people, from people with mental disabilities to persons physically impaired. Uh, and from that initial focus through the, through the years, uh, Fundación Paideia built uh, new programs to improve entrepreneurship skills with the idea in the beginning was of helping develop new businesses and helping create new companies with the um, intention of integrating workers with different capabilities, okay? Uh, in that way, while we were offering um, training programs for entrepreneurs, training programs uh, for working a space, uh, offices for rent at a low rate, networking opportunities. Uh, we started receiving requests from entrepreneurs in the arts industry, especially in the music business and also the film and TV industry, okay? And that's how uh, Fundación Paideia and uh, its late president decided to build a recording studio here in Coruña to offer the opportunity to young musicians to record at a very low rate, as well as allowing film and TV production companies uh, to record their soundtracks locally, instead of uh, the usual business was to go to Eastern European countries to record an orchestra at a very low budget. And that's how Studios Mans, which is our recording studio, uh, became to life. And let me share uh, some uh, pictures of it. Hold on. So this is uh, Studios Mans, which has a room of uh, 240 uh, square meters. Okay. Uh, this is the recording booth. And we um, have from soloists that come uh, to record here at the studio to pop and rock bands. Here is Ivan Ferreiro and uh, new and upcoming artists, okay? And from uh, folk music to uh, classical music. The room can hold a, a, a classical symphonic orchestra. In fact, we have recorded uh, film soundtracks here at the studio. And we also have live events like this uh, live radio show uh, that I will talk about it later. And this is our logo from Studios Mans. This is an initiative of Fundación Paideia. So um, let me continue. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna close this. Okay, uh, so uh, nowadays, all our programs, uh, I will talk about some of them in a minute, are focused in new and upcoming bands and soloists that are looking for tools to turn their passion for music into a profitable, profitable business, okay? Basically into the way of life. Um, all our programs that we produce through Studios Mans are focused on this goal. Uh, I'm, I have a short video and I'm sorry that it's in Galician, but it was 
created as a promo piece that showed on the screens of Festival de la Luz, which is a music festival that takes place here in the countryside. Uh, let me share it with you. And it talks a little bit about uh, the, the different programs uh, we have here in, in Studios Mans. Here it goes. Fundación Paideia Galiza, a través de Estudios Man, fortalece o seu compromiso cos novos talentos e a música emergente. Queremos achegar o noso grande area para desenvolver as ferramentas que permitan as creadoras poder vivir do seu talento. Como o facemos? Junto a EOI, deseñamos un programa de formación en emprendimiento musical para que bandas e solistas poidan desenvolver o seu plan de negocio. Todo aquel o no que non pensaras para poder vivir da túa música. Producción, distribución, financiamento, marketing, coa experiencia das mellores empresas e profesionais do panorama musical. Tras varias edicións en Galicia, Andalucía, Euskadi e Cataluña, Nas próximas semanas lanzaremos unha nova edición a nivel nacional para continuar formándote e poder realizar da túa paixón o teu modo de vida. Grazas a colaboración de MAU, bandas participantes do noso coworking en emprendimento musical poden actuar nun festival coma este. Ademais, desde Estudios Mans contamos con varios programas para promoción de artistas. Por exemplo, o concurso Sonidos Mans, no que participaron máis de mil bandas emergentes a nivel estatal e que dá a oportunidade de tocar nos principais escenarios galegos. Que a música non pare! Okay, so this is in short what we do here at Studios Mans, different programs focused on giving these new artists uh, the training and the platform to uh, make, um, as we said in the, in the video, uh, their, from their passion, their way of life, okay? And this video uh, focuses especially in our training program uh, we call co-working in music entrepreneurship uh, that it's now in its eighth run, the, the eighth edition in 2020-2021. Uh, we have designed this program to provide training to upcoming artists in the music industry in different issues such as a business plan, marketing, production, distribution, online platforms, legal requirements and laws in the entertainment industry, outsourcing, many, many different issues that are part of the music industry. And we partnered with EOI, which is the Escuela de Organización Industrial. It's kind of the training arm of the Ministry of Industry here in Spain, and also sought the support of the European Union through the European Social Fund. And let me show you the, the website for this last edition, hold on. Compartir. So, okay, this is the, the, the landing page, the, the website for the, this last edition that actually just started last week. Um, we started the online classes last week. And uh, the, in this edition, we had to change it because usually it was always a face-to-face -face, uh, classes, okay? Face-to-face -face lessons. And we have this program, of course, in Galicia, but also in Andalusia, in uh, Catalonia, and Euskadi. The plan was to keep doing um, this, sorry, I, I don't know what I did, okay. Um, to continue with the in-person training, but due to the pandemic, we had to change it into online sessions. So uh, the participants, which are 100 bands from all over Spain, um, receive online lessons three uh, days per week for the next five months in different issues, such as uh, digital uh, law, 
for uh, the entertainment industry, business plan, uh, online distribution, branding, marketing, the media, live streaming. And they also have the opportunity to um, practice at a um, recording studio. And let me show you the, the program here. Because we have, we partner with five different recording studios, uh, one in Andalusia, one in Barcelona, Bilbao, and uh, Madrid, and Studios Mans in Coruña. So the participants can go to a recording studio to actually physically record a song and also practice uh, live streaming with, prof with professional uh, equipments, okay? This is taking so long. Hold on. I have it on PDF. Let me change the screen. Here it is. Okay, so this is the program for this edition of the of the training program. And uh, well, this is 80 hours of online training and 30 hours in these uh, recording studios. And we partner with uh, Radio 3, Mao and different uh, festivals from, from Spain. And these are the five recording studios that the participants can go to to have those uh, production and live streaming uh, classes, okay? Here are some of the, the professionals that take part as professors or as a, uh, give the, the, the online classes. Okay, and this is all the information is on the website if you want to check it out later. Okay. So on top of all this um, uh, training program, uh, we also, uh, the main goal basically is to, uh, that each participant can end up having a full business plan supervised by professionals in the Lean Startup methodology. And with that business plan in hand, uh, it becomes a, a roadmap for them so they can succeed in turning uh, their business into a profitable one, okay? At the end of the program, we celebrate a, a demo day in which participants present their business plan to professionals in the music industry. And uh, I have a short video of that, of a demo day too, hold on. It's this one. This little song that I'm gonna sing about, people don't know it's true. If you black and gone and walk on lady now, this is what they say to you. Let us white, be rain, just brown. Get back, get back, get back. I was in a place one night. It was having fun. It was by a bit of white, but I never sent me no that sad as white. Be right, it just brown. Stack around, but just black. My oh, brother. Get back, get back, get back. I'm playing off this, I got a number, I got a line To call everybody number, but I never take on my That's that as white, be right If just brown, stack around, but just black Your brother, get back, get back, get back Okay, so basically what you saw here was the, those, uh, some of those demo days. Um, I think here were uh, Coruña, Bilbao and Barcelona. It was a mixture of uh, 
some of them. And um, on top of all this, uh, we partnered also with uh, Mau, the, the beer company here in Spain, and they support the two projects selected in that demo day as the most likely to succeed uh, by a professional jury, uh, offering them a tour of five performances for each one in uh, concert venues around Spain, usually venues that are um, that partner with that beer company, with, with Mao. Okay. So this is the, the program we are dedicating a lot of our time and effort now because it's, it's really big and really um, kind of difficult to handle 100 different bands from all over Spain to um, make this uh, interesting for them. And, uh, uh, but we have another educational program we organized in partnership with Agadic, which is part of the regional government in, in Galicia. And uh, that, that's our Jornadas en Industrias Musicales, um, that it's very similar to these training sessions we are having now. And during three days, one per month, uh, from usually from February to April, uh, we discuss a particular topic of debate and invite professionals uh, to discuss those topics. Uh, let me show you the flyer for this 2020 edition. Here it is. Okay, so uh, this was 2020 was our fourth year doing these jornadas. And uh, we discussed, um, for example, the, the, the first, and, and we also, we already talked about Lucia. Uh, that we invited to this session uh, where we talked about transnational uh, collaboration in music. So we have Ushia from Galicia and Joana Brandao from Portugal uh, and uh, discussing the collaboration between uh, Galician and Portuguese artists. Then the second date, and I'm going to zoom in, the second day in March, we talked about labor conditions in live uh, events, such as concerts or festivals, music festivals. And then uh, we had another session in March, not in April, that we had to postpone during COVID, due to, to COVID. And uh, we celebrated it in um, June. And we invited uh, uh, brands like, uh, well, uh, Estrella Galicia and uh, Martin Kodax to discuss um, the partnership between companies, businesses, brands, and uh, musicians and music festivals and venues. So these we uh, celebrate every year around different topics each year. And uh, these last sessions that we had to postpone due to COVID, we live streamed it. And um, this is... <laughs> This came to stay, the live streaming part of it. So next year, all of them will be broadcasted in our YouTube channel. And um, what else? So now from, from our training programs into a different type of initiatives uh, that we celebrate. We celebrate uh, three open uh, music contests each year for uh, young artists. Uh, the first one would be uh, Sonidos Mans and um, it's open to bands and solos from Spain uh, that have not yet recorded or have contracts with uh, the main recording labels. In this last edition in 2020, uh, we had 377 par participants. And um, during the last four years that we celebrated this, this contest, we had over a thousand participants from all around the country. And uh, they just have to fill a form and upload us onto SoundCloud so we can share their music on our website. And a professional jury selects 10 finalists and uh, 40 semi-finalists that go into a popular vote. We end up having 20 finalists and um, the prize is for the uh, eight winning participants that can play at a music festival here in Galicia and record a song and a video clip in our recording studio here in Coruña, Studios Manas. This year, due to the pandemic and the festivals canceling their 2020 season, uh, we changed the price into a concert at a concert venue called the Nautico de San Vicente here in Galicia. And uh, so not only they have a, a gig in a concert venue or festival, 
but they also end up with a song and a video they can use to promote themselves in the future, okay? Another, let me show you real quick, just the website here. here. So this is a website for uh, Sonidos Mans that it's already closed for this, for this year. And here are the, oh, oh, the winners, I could show you the winners. And they uh, stay the whole year in our website so we can do a, a bit of promotion of, of these artists. Um, and then we have Sonidos Mans Salas that works, uh, it's very similar. Let me, dun, dun, dun. that it's very similar, but it's um, only for Galician artists, okay? And the price would be, uh, so it works a bit different. Uh, professional jury selects five finalists that are invited to give a concert at a, at a concert venue here in Galicia, kind of a battle of the bands, something like that. And we come up with uh, one winner that um, comes to the studio and records an EP, not just a song, but four or five different songs to uh, turn into a, an EP that they can then promote and um, use themselves, okay? And the last, uh, the last contest would be up. So we partner with um, the education uh, department from the regional government in Galicia uh, to provide the, the best students from professional conservatories in Galicia uh, so they can come to the studio and also record an EP, which is not only helpful uh, to promote their professional career, but also helps them when they want to apply for a public job as a professor in the Spanish conservatory system. So uh, we found out that that would be really helpful uh, to them. And uh, we partnered with uh, the Department of Education to, to take that in place, okay? And uh, so I don't bore you. Let me take another turn and show you a different initiative. We celebrate simply to promote new artists and give them a national exposure. We celebrate uh, La Residencia, we call it, that it's basically a, a creative residency at the studio. For a week, we invite two artists that are already well-known, recognized in the, in the Spanish scene, uh, who come to the studio for a week, Monday to Friday. They collaborate and write, uh, uh, write and record a new song, which is edited and mastered during that week and premiere in a live radio show that we broadcast live from the studio on that same Friday, okay? Let me just show you a short video so you can um, have an idea of what I'm talking about. Here, this one. So that video that started following the one that I wanted to show you, it's actually someone uh, on, the, on the audience of the live radio show that recorded the, the presentation of the, of the song. And uh, these were um, Novedades Carmiña de La Fuente. Uh, but the, the goal of this uh, residencia is not to give them exposure because they are, are already really well-known artists, but we take that as an excuse to introduce new upcoming artists do, during that live radio show. So they can present their music live, have an interview, and that exposure in one of the most listened to uh, morning shows in Spanish radio. And then last but not least, we, uh, in 2020, we have launched a new project that kind of applies this creative residency formula to upcoming artists. And we called it Mans Shuntanza Creativa, and it's open to Galician artists. Uh, three were selected by a professional jury this year that were uh, Sofia Espineira, Belen Tajes, 
and uh, Los Jinetes del Tropico, uh, all from very different backgrounds and styles. And they, come, they came to the studio for a week and created a new song that was based on traditional Galician folk music, but looking for a twist with new styles and, and rhythms. And the results will be presented next month uh, at the next li live radio show we are celebrating here on December the 11th. So stay tuned and uh, follow us on social media at Fundación Paideya, at Studios Mans, because we will show there um, the, the, the live show, okay? So the, the main goal for all these projects, training programs, workshops, music contests, La Residencia, is uh, to provide musicians that want to take that step from the amateur scene into a professional venture. And we try to offer them the tools and the platform to, again, turn the, their passion for music into a business that can help sustain themselves and sustain their talent. And uh, in the name of uh, Fundación Paide Galiza, I will like to thank again all of you for including, including us in these sessions and congratulate the job you're doing with this European project. And from our end, we would love to explore the possibilities to create synergies with the, the project and all the partners. And of course, uh, I'm open now for any questions that you may have. Thank you.